But there was a lot of planning around this, particularly because it was right at our front door. We had a, one major tenant would come in that door and turn right, another major tenant would come and turn left, and we obviously had all of our visitors coming to the space, whether it be to visit our commercial tenants or our retail precinct. They wanted us to get in and out of that retail area as quickly as possible, so time was very important, and they also wanted a very well presented, professional looking hoarding and construction site that would effectively separate the construction work from the operating retail area which was next to it. We worked with Walker and with Collins Square Management to come up with a logistics plan which worked. That encompassed a program which was all about utilising a short window at the just after Christmas to close the centre down. It was really important for the works to take place over that period because it is naturally a quieter period uh, given that the commercial tenants do uh, have a shutdown over the Christmas break. So we wanted to minimise the impact to the commercial tenants and also the retailers. I think from Brookfield Multiplex's perspective, uh, the biggest achievement was that once the scaffold was up, we were able to demolish the existing roof and install the new roof within an eight day period. Pulling down the hoarding was done over two consecutive weekends. So the tenants left on a Friday, the hoarding was there, the tenants came back on a Monday and it wasn't there and it was back to business as usual. So as part of the approval process, uh, Brookfield Multiplex generated a package for the adjoining owners as well as the retailers which included computer generated renders uh, showing them exactly what we were proposing to implement as part of the segregation between the construction zone and the retail precinct. Yeah, it was great. Everyone came down. The Multiplex guys, the centre management from Walkers were down here, explained it to us, gave it to us on paper, talked it through, it was really good. Brookfield set a new benchmark in, um, in the delivery of this, so it certainly was well received by everyone involved. The feedback that we've received both internally and externally has been top-notch and everybody's now just excited for the second phase of stage two retail.